You are welcome to our series on the contradictions in the Quran. Yes, we are going to prove to the Muslims that there are more than 100 contradictions in the Quran. This is the third contradictory passage I want to show to the Muslims. The first one was the first one we talking was who was the first Muslim? Who was the first Muslim? The second one was how many days did God or Allah used to create the heavens and earth? Did he use six days or eight days? You can go into my come to my wall and then look for that topic and then you learn a lot. You see the various contradictions in the Quran. Today we are going to deal with the third passage that is does the sun goes or rotates around the earth or the earth rotates around the sun? Does the sun rotates around the earth or the earth rotates around the sun? Now let's turn to the Quran, Surah chapter 36, verse 40. It reads, It is not permitted to the sun to catch up the moon, nor can the night outstrip the day. Each into bracket just swims along in his own orbit according to the law. Into brackets according to the law. So the Quran is saying in chapter 66, verse 10, that the sun has the ability to catch up with the moon. But Allah has not given it that permission to chase after the moon. Nor the night to outstrip the day. What is the Quran simply saying? The Quran is saying that, you know, Allah has created the sun to move. And because the, the, the sun is like Usain Bolt, it has the ability to run past the moon. You know, the moon goes to the earth. But Allah has not given that permission. So, the Muslims are saying in Surah 36 verse 40 that Allah has made the sun to move. Only that it has not given this permission. If the permission is granted, it will move. Now, let us turn to Surah chapter 31, chapter 91, 1 to 2. It says, By the sun and its brightness, the moon... By the sun and his brightness and the moon, when she followed him. Who is that? Who is the him here? Who is the who here? The, the sun is following the moon. Or the moon is chasing the sun, vice versa, as they go up and down. You know something? The same Surah of Texas, verse 41 says that it is not permitted to the sun to catch up with the moon, nor the night outstrip the day. So Allah is saying the sun moves and the earth does not, the earth also moves but on the earth goes around does not go around you see you see how the rest of this ball to be the sun is rotating on this axis and this is the earth the earth is supposed to go around the sun that is scientifically true the sun the earth goes around the sun but the quran says that there is it's rather the sun that goes around the earth no it's not true it's not it's wrong scientifically and physically, the sun does not go around the earth. It just rotates on its axis. Yes. But it does not go around the earth. It is the earth that goes around the sun. You see what the Quran is saying? I say the Quran is not a word of God. If the Quran is the word of God, the Quran will know that, there's, that it is the sun, is the earth that goes around the sun, not the sun going around the earth. As the Quran says, you see, the sun goes round the earth. No. And it says, the Quran says that the, the earth is stationary. The earth is rather not moving, but there is the sun that is moving. It is fake. The Quran is not the word of God. It's a book compiled by Muhammad and his people. Now, now let's listen to this sheikh. These young students have come before him or he's teaching them. And the students have been told that the earth goes around the sun. But the sheikh says that his Quran says, no, it's not true. But the, rather the sun that goes around the earth and the earth does not move. <laughs> the sheikh is saying that the earth does, is stationary because that is what the Quran is saying. And the boys are telling them, no, scientifically, they were taught in school that it is the earth that goes around the sun. And the sun, ought to, the sun too rotates on its axis. 
and then Bishak is saying that no, it's not true. But after them, whatever the whatever their Allah or their Quran says is true. If if it is true, which means that even if it goes against scientific knowledge or if it goes against things that they, they can touch and see, once the Quran says A, it means it's A if it's supposed to be. Let's watch the video. दूसरी डायरेक्शन में चला गया की वो रोटेट कर जा रहे थे तब दूसरे मुल्कों की तो बारी आनी चाहिए ना गर्मियों के लिए जमीन रोटेट कर रही है जी जमीन तो साकी ना बेटा जमीन तो रोटेट रोटेट करती नहीं है जमीन गर्देश नहीं करती लेकिन हमें ज्योग्राफी में पढ़ाया जाता है कि अर्थ जो है वो सूरज का चक्कर लगाता है ये लॉजिक ये गलत है बेटा साइंस क्या साइंस की ये थ्योरी जो है ना ये दुरुस्त नहीं है असल जो थ्योरी है ना वो कुरान और हदीस वाली है बिल्कुल और आला हजरत जो हमारे ना इमाम सुनत आला हजरत ने ये प्रूफ किया है कि जमीन साकिन है यानी जमीन मूव नहीं करती साकिन को एक अच्छा सा वर्ड इंग्लिश का होता हुआ साकिन का स्टैटिक अर्थ स्टैटिक पोजीशन में है तो ये मूव नहीं करती और साइंस कहती है कि जमीन मूव करती है आला हजरत हमारे इमाम सुन्नत ने कुरान से साबित किया है कि जमीन मूव नहीं करती नहीं करती तो हमने बात कौन सी माननी है इस्लाम की दीन की आला हजरत ने इस्लाम और दीन की बात ही की है ठीक है बेटा और कोई क्वेश्चन है जैन में तो फिर हमारा सुबह का टाइम पे सूरज आ जाता है फिर चांद आ जाता है तो फिर ये सर्कल सूरज और चांद तो ये तो मूव कर ही रहे ना मतलब सूरज तो बेटा देखो सूरज अपनी गोल है आपने देखा होगा ना है तो सूरज अपने अल्लाह के हुक्म से अपना जो भी इसका साइकिल है उसके साथ वो मूव कर ही रहा है तो जहां जहां सूरज मूव कर रहा होता है वहां पर उसके टाइमिंग के साथ वो चीजें चल रही होती है ना तो ये सूरज और चांद की जो गर्दिश है ये सूरज और चांद का जो आना जाना है अब सूरज और चांद को यूं समझे कि सूरज गुरु हो जाता है जैसे हमारे यहां से सूरज गुरु हो गया तो कहीं तो सूरज तुरु हुआ ना बेटा जी जी सूरज नजर आ कहीं तो ये कहीं चांद सूरज ये सब अल्लाह तला के हुक्म से अपने वक्त के साथ इनका निजाम चल चल रहा होता है हमने अभी के एपिसोड में आज की इस सिटिंग में सिर्फ इस बात को याद कर लेना है हम इसके भी डिटेल में नहीं जाते ठीक है हमारा टॉपिक आज साइंस नहीं और अर्थ नहीं है हम इंशाल्लाह कभी किसी दिन साइंस और अर्थ पर इंशाल्लाह हम अपना प्रोग्राम करेंगे ठीक है बेटा लेकिन आज चुके एक बात चली थी कि सूरज हमारे कहा से हो गए जमीन से दूर हो गया ठीक है और आपने जैसे इन्होंने कहा कि जमीन अर्थ रोटेट कर रही है तो ये चूंकि अभी हमने शुरू में डिस्कशन हुई तो ये ये चीजें दुरुस्त नहीं है जमीन साकिन है जकीन, जमीन अपनी जगह पर साकिन रुकी हुई है और यही इस्लाम का नजरिया किसका नजरिया बेटा इस्लाम इस्लाम का नजरिया है और हमने इसी नजरिए को ही याद भी करना है और इसी पर हमने अपना यकीन रखना है ठीक है बेटा तो अब दूसरा सवाल है What? How can this Muslim Sheikh be lying to this to the, the school boys? Why? Should should the Quran always be right? Is it because you have been told the Quran is right, so the Quran is always right? No. What the the, the teachers have taught the students in those young boys in school is the right thing. The Quran is wrong. The earth goes round the sun. It's not the other way round. The earth is 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 not. Stationary, it moves on its axis and it moves round. And as it moves round, it moves round the sun. It's the sun that moves. It moves also on its axis, but it does not go round the earth. How can a sheikh with white beard? How can he be lying to these young boys? Because the Muhammad have said it was Allah who gave him the Quran, so you still believe it? No, the boys are right. These are the things that happen in Islam. And once the the, the Quran said it. It is true. Even when it goes against, so when the Quran says they are animals, 
even though they are human beings, they are still sin. They are human. They are animals. If the Quran says that, because if the Quran says that they have to, their head is down and their legs are up. Even though they are, they walk with their legs, they will still believe the Quran because the Quran has said it. What kind of <laughs> thinking is this? No wonder Satan, Shaitan, sleeps in the noses of the Muslims. So every morning they have to <laughs> three times what size Shaitan out. What kind of religion is that? Let's listen to this Muslim Sheikh also. You've been asked a simple question. Instead of answering the question or defending your Islam in a more academic way, he's rather saying that people are against Islam. Finally, Suhail says, according to Islam, does the sun revolve around the earth or the earth revolves and rotates around the sun or is the earth stationary? This question is always ri arising uh, and, and asked by uh, atheists, uh, people of bad intent who would like to pinpoint something against Islam, something against the Quran. As Muslims, do we care what they say? Definitely not. As Muslims, where do we get information and knowledge from the Quran and from the Sunnah? So if we study the Quran and the Sunnah, we will find that Allah Azza wa Jal addresses the layman as he addresses the engineer, the professor, and the rocket scientist. Allah addresses them all with what they can comprehend. So for us laymen, even if you go to atheists, when you ask them about the timing of the day, he would say to you, the sun rises at 7 a.m. and it sets at 6.20 p.m. So he is confirming that it is the sun that rises and sets. And if you look in the hadith, the hadith of Abu Dhar, may Allah be pleased with him, when the Prophet asked him, السلام, do you know where the sun goes when it sets? And then he told him about the long hadith, which approves that the sun is the one who's setting, or the one that is setting. And if you look at the Quran, you'll find this majestic book does neither confirm nor deny. Some verses, well, one verse says, Kullun fi falakin yasbahun. All earth, moon, and sun, they orbit. But orbit what? We don't know. And we know that the Quran is a book that is miraculous for all times and for all places. But if you study it, it doesn't say neither confirm nor deny that the earth rotates. But it shows for those who want to see that the sun rises and sets. And this is clear in the Quran. So now when we find that NASA scientists come and say, no, it's the other way around. It's the earth rotating the sun and it rotates around its own axle, etc. As Muslims, are we obliged to obey what they're saying? Definitely not. Because this is a possibility. And there is a big possibility that 10, 20 years down the line, they will come and say, oops, we made a mistake. It doesn't rotate. So should we confirm with them or deny them? No. This doesn't con uh, constitute any of the questions that we will be asked in our graves, nor on the Day of Judgment. Allah will not ask you. Does the earth rotate or not? It's not part of your aqidah. So there's no point of raising such a question and making an issue out of it, whether confirming or denying. The Quran doesn't say uh, as confirmation or denial. And the sunnah proves to us that it is the sun that rises and sets like everyone else on the earth sees and confirms. Only a handful of scientists would say that it doesn't rise and it doesn't set. It is the earth that rotates. Either way, this is what they say and what they claim. 
and we're not obliged to believe or deny. I want you to watch the next video. But before you watch the next video, uh, let's just go to the independent magazine. This is on the internet. Saudi Muslim cleric claims the F is stationary and the sun rotates around it. A video of Sheikh Bandar Al Kaibari claims image on Galileo's birthday. 2018 February 2015 and that's the face of the of the of the sheikh I'll show you the video a Saudi Arabian cleric has claimed that the earth does not orbit the sun and is in fact stationary making the opposite true Sheikh Bandar Al Kabari stands students at a, at a university in the United Arab Emirates on Sunday by telling them the earth is stationary and does not move Al Arabiya reported now let's just look listen to the video <laughs> that is his face هذا يقول هل الارض ثابته ام تتحرك ها ثابته ولا تتحرك في الحقيقة الذي عليه علماؤنا كالشيخ الإمام عبد العزيز بن باز الشيخ صالح الفوزان حفظه الله تعالى أن الأرض ثابتة لا تتحرك وهذا هو مقتضى النصوص ومقتضى العقل أصلا والأدلة أيضا كثيرة عن الشمس التي تدور الأدلة العقلية بارك الله فيكم أنكم تقولون أنهم نظريات وما أدري كيف حتى نحن عندنا نظريات وعندنا عقول كمسلمين أولا نحن الآن في أين نذهب إلى مطار الشارقة نريد أن نذهب إلى الصين بالطيارة واضح ركزوا معي هذه الأرض إذا قلتم أنها تدور إذا خرجنا من مطار الشارقة برحلة دولية إلى الصين الأرض تدور صح؟ طيب لو وقفت الطائرة في السماء أليست الصين تأتي؟ صح ولا لا؟ تدور تأتي الصين ولا ما تأتي؟ طيب لو كانت الشمس الأرض تدور هكذا لو تمشي الطيارة ما أدري كم تمشي لن تستطيع أن تلحق الصين لأن الصين تدور وأنت تدور ولن تستطيع أن تصل إلى الصين لأنك تدور وهي تدور فكيف تصل إلى الصين؟ ثانيا من الأدلة أيضا قوله صلى الله عليه وسلم من البيت المعمور أين البيت المعمور في السماء السابعة محاذاة إيش قال عليه الصلاة والسلام لو سقط سقط على إيش الكعبة أنتم تقولون الأرض تدور طيب لو سقط هذا والأرض تدور ما يسقط على الكعبة يسقط في البحر أو يسقط في المحيط أو يسقط في البر هكذا هذا يدل على أن الأرض ثابتة قالوا صعدنا إلى القمر وما صعدوا إلى القمر ولا شافوا قمر وكله صنعوه في هليود مدري فين وقالوا خرجوا الى القمر ولا شيء ونحن صدقناهم وجرينا خلفهم عن هذه الايه والشمس تجري لمستقر لها ذلك تقدير العزيز العليم هل الشمس تدور حول الارض بلا شك هذا هو ما دل عليه القران والشمس تجري هم يقولون لا الشمس واقفة والأرض هي اللي تجري هذا عكس ما جاء في القرآن وإبراهيم عليه السلام قال للنمرود إن الله يأتي بالشمس من المشرق فأتي بها من المغرب فبهت الذي كفر فكوننا نترك ما دل عليه القرآن ونأخذ بالنظريات الحديثة هذا لا, لا يكون من المسلم ويجب على المسلم أن يتبع القرآن الله جل وعلا يقول ما أشهدتهم خلق السماوات والأرض ولا خلق أنفسهم وما كنت متخذ المضلين عضدا نعم mm. I'm giving myself light off to do an illustration when there is no sun there is no light Jesus Christ is the light of the world without him there is no illumination there's no spiritual illumination. My Muslim friends, now you have watched the video. Two of your top sheikhs or imams are saying that the earth does not rotate round the sun, but it's the sun rather that goes round the earth. And your, your, your Quran is saying that the sun has been chasing the moon and the sun cannot overtake the moon. Are you, is the Quran in and you say what race here or a race? I am telling you that 
scientifically, and what we know is the Earth rotates on its axis, and as it rotates on its axis, as it rotates on its axis, hmm, that's, this is the sound. The Earth rotates on its axis, as it's rotating on its axis, it goes round, it goes round the sun. The sun does not go round the earth. No. The sun rotates on its axis every 27 days. But it's, you see, but it's at one place as it is not rotating the sun. The sun is at one place as it rotates. But it does not go round. It is rather the earth and the other planets that go round the sun. And I want you Muslims to know that right now you are seeing this side. This is the sun. You are seeing this side. There is light here. So as the sun rotates and the earth goes around, the earth goes around the sun. Hmm? The earth goes around the sun. The place that is facing the light eh, will have light. That is facing the sun will have light. The place that is facing, that is not facing the sun will have darkness. I'm saying two of those Sheikh have said that the Quran says the sun goes around the earth. Is some kind of true? You know something when you hear that is we hear we hear in school, we were told in school that the sun rises in the east and sets in the west. That is what they are saying. But scientifically, it does not mean that because they say the sun rises in the east and sets in the west, it does not scientifically mean that the sun actually rises and then sets in the west. No. The sun is stationary. It does not go anywhere. It is moving. It is not moving. It just rotates on its axis. It is the earth that goes around the sun. It is the earth. And not the other way around. I've been telling, I've been telling you Muslims that, you see, because Muhammad had that the sun starts, the sun rises in the east and sets in the west. So he brings you the Quran. So he thinks that the, the sun has been moving. No, the sun does not move. You see, when you read part of the Quran, it says that the sun, the sun rises and then he, 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 he falls in, he sets in the milky water. And that part, he says the sun rests under the throne of Allah. Then when Allah gives permission, then the sun rises from the throne of Allah and goes wherever Allah will command it. A Muslim friend, I am telling you that the Quran was formulated by Muhammad with his companions. They took the Bible, twisted it. They took the Bible, twisted it. They took scientific knowledge in that era, in that time, twisted them. Took folklore, book of Hindus, and told, twisted them. Took Anansi stories, fairy tales, twisted them. It came out with a book and said, "Allah, what Bible?" Allah has given us the book. My friend, this is not true. It's a compilation of, of Muhammad. It's a compilation by Muhammad and his friends. Please, you see what the young boys were asking the, 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 the imam. And the imam, the imam could not answer the boys. He was just saying that once the Quran have said it, they should believe it. Once the Quran have said it, they should believe it. It's made it true. So if the Quran is saying that Muslims walk with their head, are supposed to walk with their leg, we will just walk with their head. When the Quran says Muslims walk with their head, it means that it is true. No wonder. Shaitan, I'm, I'm told, sleeps in the noses of Muslims. So every morning they have to wash Shaitan out. Please, my Muslim friend, I beg you. Jesus Christ is illuminizing your spiritual mind and give you knowledge. Quran, Islam, is calm. May God bless you. I'm not an evil Christolite. I want you to go down. To this, go to the if, the if you don't see this on YouTube, wherever you see it, go to my YouTube channel, Dr. Nibu Joe Chrysolite, and subscribe and like the video. I have other videos, you can go and watch them when you go there. And please, if you have a question, go to the comments, comment section in the YouTube and ask me the question is there or on Facebook or wherever you see the video. Ask me questions and I'll come and answer. May God bless you, may God touch you, and see you in the fourth exposure of the contradictions in the Quran. May God bless you. Bye bye.